Hey Sacramento, it's Vince and, and Key. We're, we're back. back with the best barbers in Sacramento, thanks to you. Starting off with another look hair salon and barber, barber shop. shop. Selling slack, selling, selling slack. Selling slack, selling, selling slack. Selling slack, selling, selling slack. Memento, buying the block back. Selling slack, selling, selling slack. Uh, the shop's been over in here uh, a little bit over 20 years. Um, I've been here, me personally, I've been cutting since 1992. Um, as far as the shop, I've been here since 07. Okay. Yes, yeah, about 13 years. Yeah, going on 14. We're first and foremost a family-oriented shop. Uh, we make sure that we, you know, are, we're also diverse. You know what I'm saying? We try to make sure that we service the community. And then also we are a part of the community. Uh, we do a little bit more than just cutting, you know what I'm saying? We participate in you know, certain charity events, you know what I'm saying? You know, we also try to come together, you know, as a whole and, you know, kind of give back to the community. So it's hard to bring, you know, a lot of people together in certain communities, but here, you know, we, uh, we're we able to do that. Ooh, we have about 13 barbers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then we have a total around here, it's about 23 stylists and barbers. So uh, like I said, we do anything from braids, you know, fades, color, you know, we do the works. So. And how did uh, Miss Key do before you got into this hair of hers? Um, she did a real good job. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to uh, trying to get her to convince her to maybe she might want to go to the school and you know get her license and stuff. I told her I said if we could trade. I'll be a you know I'll be a, a, a real estate and she could be a barber. You know, <laughs> but no, she did a real good job on her hair. Yeah. So all I'm doing is accenting it. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So she did a good, real, real good job. I'm the owner of Fajon 20th here in Sacramento, uh, 24, 23, 20th Street to be exact. Um, I'm Jalil, um, master barber. I've been cutting since early 90s, licensed since uh, 96 to be exact. You know, one thing I pray, take more pride in about the average barber shop is the multicultural shop that we have and the fact that you could bring your daughters, your sons, grandparents, women, children could be in here. You don't have to worry about no, no foul language. Um, and we're excellent in hair cutting and customer service. So I pride myself on customer service and those qualities. So I love that about Faith on 20 years. Well, we do a, a little bit of everything. Um, of course, you know, haircuts, um, straight hair, children cuts. We have Senior Wednesdays. Uh, we specialize in black masks, razor shades, uh, any style that you like. Um, other than that, though, not too much variation from that, but we just keep it basic and um, just know that if you do come, you will be well pleased. You know, it's, it's, it's a combination of feelings. Uh, the main feeling, I want them to know that they come to a place where they are welcome and mainly walk out of here with the best haircut they could possibly have and know that they're welcome at any time. Because I've been in barbershops just for getting haircuts where it's, the haircut was great, but the customer service wasn't so good. So I want clients to walk in here knowing that they got the best of both worlds. Okay, my name is uh, Antoine Dunn. Uh, I'm known as Dunn the Barber. I've been at the Rich Barber Hair Studio since we opened it. So it'll be four years in September. Um, I've been cutting hair since I was a teenager. Um, I left my corporate job. I decided to do what I love to do and we're here. Uh, the Rich Barber was founded on an idea. Um, the the CEO, the creator of the Rich Barber, Chico Torres, and uh, I, best, I guess the easiest way to say it is rich mindset, rich outcome. And it's the idea that how you think, how you um, carry yourself, the energy that you put out um, into this world, you create with that and you can create great things. And if your mindset is, is to achieve those things, you have a mindset of positivity, a mindset that's goal oriented, that you wanna go get it, um, you're gonna receive that outcome. Most barber shops you walk in, you can pick a haircut, uh, maybe a shave, um, and that's about it. We we have services that range anywhere from skin care um, to um, hampering. So, for example, I have a service um, in uh, that I that I do, um, and it's called the Winter Circle. Now, in the Winter Circle, you get a haircut, you get a um, hot towel, facial massage, and skin cleanse, um, along with steam and essential oils blown on you. So not only is your skin getting clean, not only are you coming out looking fresh, but then your skin's rehydrated, it's been it's been scrubbed, uh, your pores have been opened and closed, and you're feeling good. So, and those are just some of the things that we offer here. I, I started here with a few clients and no money, and you know, and I just believed and focused on that mindset that I was talking about earlier, that rich mindset. 
of achieving my goals. I would say within the first year, I built a solid clientele. I watched my prices raise, my skill set raise, and just life got better. I started creating hours for myself where I used to be stressed out. So barbering has really like changed my life. Barbering is a, is a passion for me. I love being at the Rich Barber. It's been the most amazing experience for me. And uh, there's nothing like it. Uh, that's all I can say. It's like, if you know, you know. Okay, uh, it's called Show of Hands Barber Studio. We've been open for about two and a half years now. Grew up in Sacramento and I actually moved out to Tracy for about seven, eight years. Cut out there for a long time and I've wanted to come back and open up my shop here. Uh, I actually always wanted to kind of be in the this, in this city kind of area. I'm from Rancho Cordova, so it's a little further out. But um, I kind of seen the boom coming for Sacramento. It's, it's growing a lot, so I kind of wanted to be in the thick of it. Mm, I did yeah. not prompt you to say that, right? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> not at all. It's coming. Okay. It's definitely yeah, coming. It's, show. it's definitely yeah, coming. Exactly. Definitely. We get a lot of city workers and state workers and stuff like that that want to come in and out quick, so that's nice. And then it's just, it's a little more more tight-knit vibe, I guess you can say. So, so who's responsible for the decorations? Um, actually me. Uh, yeah, my stations, I kind of designed them and I built one with my friend and then I had him build the other one. And uh, yeah, built it with wood and galvanized piping. It's all about your clients. It's all about your clients. Like you can't worry about the money. You can't worry about what people say, what you see on Instagram and stuff like that. You can't worry about that. As long as your client is happy, that's all that matters. They're gonna keep coming back. Yeah, that's the best thing about it. My name is Marcus Irvin. Uh, I've been cutting for about 15 years and I'm originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. My name is Fernando Perez, also known as Nacho. I'm from Mexico City, raised in the Bay Area and I've uh, been cutting for eight years. So me and Fernando, uh, we work here at the Gentleman's Cutlery. So people ask uh, us sometimes well, how we got into barbering. Um, for myself, I grew up in a household where my mom was a barber and a beautician. And so she inspired me to cut hair. Uh, she since has uh, passed away, but I keep this on my station here just as a reminder of how much she inspired me uh, to even get into this business. So when I was about 16 or 17, I uh, started cutting my own hair. I didn't like the way she was cutting it anymore. And I didn't have the money at the time to go to a barbershop and pay for my own haircut. So it kind of forced me to, to learn myself. So just throughout time, just getting better and better. And one thing I love about barbering is you get a chance to, to meet a lot of people. You learn a lot from different people's experiences. Uh, people uh, talk to their bar barber about a lot of stuff that they're going through, so you're actually able to help a lot of people. Um, it's a nice uh, interchange of conversation that you get, so uh, it's, it's a great business to be in, honestly. I actually never thought I'd be a barber, ever. I kind of stumbled upon it. Uh, I, went to, I did trade school for a financial company, and it was at that time the economy was very down, so I couldn't find work or close to sell in the financial industry so I had to budget my money and I uh, started cutting my own hair and that's when I met Marcus he encouraged and helped me a lot but now that I'm here eight years later um, I love it uh, learning meeting new people we never know who's gonna book with us or come through our doors everybody has a story to share and uh, I love hearing the stories and whatever me and Marcus could help out in any way besides the haircut we're always there for them. So when you come to the Gentleman's Cutlery, you might uh, notice that we have a different ambiance than most shops. Uh, we tried to create a professional atmosphere um, that you don't see from guys our age. Um, we tried to make it comfortable, but not too stuffy. Um, but so when you come in, you'll notice that the music is a little bit different. We offer guys a free cocktail or beer. Um, it's a place that you can bring your, your girlfriend, your wife, your, uh, your kids and feel comfortable. So when it comes down to the services, we do all types of hair, meaning from straight to curly, texture cuts, styling cuts, uh, fades, low, medium, tapered. Very universal. Uh, we don't reject anybody that books an appointment with us or comes through our doors. We're always happy to take care of them. Great episode, guys. We enjoyed talking to all the barbers. They had great information, told us a lot about the insight as far as how they are actually psychologists. When people sit down in their chairs, how they actually share and talk with people and stuff outside of the, the haircuts. Yeah. So really cool. Be sure to like, share, tag, and follow. I'm Keith. 
I'm Vince. And we are Selling Sacramento. Selling Sac, Selling, Selling Sac. Selling Sac, Selling, Selling Sac. Selling Sac, Selling, Selling Sacramento. Buying the block back. Selling Sac, Selling, Selling Sac.